You guys all disperse. How do you feel like these past few weeks have gone? It's got obviously a different situation than uh, later in the season. Yeah. Uh, we've been really focused these last couple of weeks. Uh, the intensity has been raised, uh, starting to uh, prepare for Kansas State, and uh, it's just been going well. You've obviously been through this before. What are the keys to, I guess, success in this time of the year? Just being mentally prepared, um, knowing what plays are being ran and why they're being ran, and um, just having a full concept of everything that's going around you, knowing what the line's doing, knowing uh, who's the point, and knowing uh, where the quarterback is going to throw the ball. It just helps the flow of the offense a lot more better. You guys are going back to Arizona, back to Glendale, same stadium as, as two years ago, the national title game. Have you thought about what it's going to be like to, to be back there for the first time since um, that it, it ran across my mind a couple of times, but um, I just hopefully it turns out in a different result than it was last or two years ago. Um, so um, it, it feels the it feels right that I'm sorry. It feels right that it's gonna be better than it was two years ago. So we'll see how it goes. What, what, are there memories that stick out the most? Um, plays just the moments. Uh, just the game-winning field goal they had. Um, that was hard question for myself and well as well as for the seniors because they yeah. played their heart out and uh, it, it sucked that it had to go go down to that. And I was hoping that we could go into overtime, but um, things happen for a reason and. Um, it's time for us to be refocused. Well, ever since then, we've been refocused and trying to reach that goal. Uh, and I mean, that's the only play that stuck out to me. But this does feel like a chance to kind of go back to the same place and make it right. Yeah, uh, it, it gives us gives us that gives us that feeling to um, finally put that behind us and um, go on to the next step. What about sustaining this run of success? I mean, Four BCS bowls, three of them are part of. Mm -hmm. I guess, in terms of the culture of the program, what are the what are the biggest keys to that? Um, I would have to say a lot of the sex that goes on in this program has to go with the preparation that we put in um, day out and day in, and not in, not only in the season but during the off season where we have um, winter conditioning and summer conditioning, um, just being able to gel as a group and uh, not be as far apart as, uh, as other teams in the nation, but try to get that togetherness that we have um, now and try to keep building on that. You gonna request a draft evaluation? I already did. You did? Did mm -hmm. you get it back? No, nah, not yet. When did you get those back? Uh, I'm not sure. Or do you have any thoughts on that process? I mean, do you think you might seriously consider it? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, as of right now, I'm not worrying about that. I'm just okay. worrying about the game. I've always wondered, what if the team, what if you go to the league and somebody besides the Texans picks you up? <laughs> well, my, my heart will always be with the Texans, but, you know, I have a, a new responsibility going on with whatever team picks me yeah. up. Um, just, just, you know, being from Houston yeah. and Texans on so well, and, you know, I've grown up watching them since they came back, and my heart just with the Texans. Business is business. Though. Yeah, business is business. <laughs> I'm not going to let them think. What do you see in Kansas State defense? Um, um, what, what, what do they do? They're pretty much like Oregon State. Um, they're just a little bit more fundamentally sound. And um, uh, they, do, they, don't have as, they don't have as great as athletes as Oregon State does, but they're being mentally and fundamentally sound. Um, that makes up for their athletic abilities. And... Um, they're pretty base, run a 4 2 5, base coverage is uh, quarters and um, shotgun or whatever. So um, it's pretty base there, pretty pretty focused on that end, and we just got to be mistake free and hopefully we can get advantage of it. You guys seem to feel more looser than it has the last couple of years at this time, and you guys mm -hmm. got the big win sort of a monkey off your back, if you feel, last year with the you know, huge Rose Bowl win. I mean, you just feel that you guys have been there, and, and now you, you know, um, get that, that calm, of you, you know what to expect now, or, well, or is there still some more you know, attention and pressure? It's, I don't too much say it's pressure and okay. attention or anything. We just, um, we're just a lot more focused than we have been in the past, mm -hmm. and um, you can tell by how loosely we are. And, um, I mean, 
since his last time last year at this time in Arizona, can you guys win one of these games? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. think you guys answered a lot of that. Yeah. The, the critics and so it seems to be uh-huh. like, all right, it's, you know, you don't have that, you know, yeah. whether it's external, internal pressure to, uh, to sort of live up to that. Yeah. Now. Whether or not, um, no matter what the experts say or whatnot, yeah. um, this team we have perseverance, and um, no matter what the circumstances may be, we're yeah. not going to stop until we get what we want. And, um, that's one thing that I love about this team. Um, we have resilience and um, you know the patience to succeed. One more thing about going down to Arizona. You guys are staying in the same hotel. You guys are practicing on the same the same place. Does that help? Chip mentioned it a little earlier, but does, does it help you guys or does it not matter? It doesn't matter to me. Um, we could have been staying where Auburn stayed at two years ago and practicing where they practice at, but you know it's just it's up to us whether we on how we perform and. Um, prepare for this game, and um, right now our, our our abilities to prepare and focus on the text hand is um, sharp. You getting to go? Are you going back to Houston for Christmas? Of course I am. I can't stand this weather. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to most other than the weather going on? Food. What, what kind food. of food do you guys think you got? Um, well, just Orange my family cooking. Um, yeah. I'm gonna eat some water burger. Um, it's this spot right by my house. It's called Chicken Plus best chicken in America. Uh, it's just um, my granny cooking uh, from scratch. Like, uh, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. My mom's cooking. Yeah. Uh, my mom's my mom's cooking. Um, just seeing my family and um, just being away from them for so long, it, it it's gonna make it that much better to go home and see them for Christmas.